Hi, I am Moshujit Ghoshal, and this is joint work with Cody Freitag and Ilan Kumar Gotsi. Very broadly, this work is about new preprocessing attacks and limitations for short collisions in the sponge construction. Hash functions are one of the fundamental primitives of cryptography that have many different applications. Certain applications like password hashing, etc., require a hash function to handle different input lengths. However, it is infeasible to design a different hash function for every length. Hence, iterative hashing is used to construct variable input length hash function using fixed input length primitives, uh, the most popular example being the merkle damgard construction. After some proposed attacks against MD5 and SHA-0 in 2006, NIST started a competition to standardize a new hash construction. And after almost a decade, Ketchak emerged as the winner. The Ketchak family is based on the sponge construction, which is a novel alternative to the merkle damgard design. Here's a very simplified view of how sponge hashing works. The fundamental primitive in the sponge construction is a permutation pi on r plus c bits. Uh, message m is broken up into blocks of r bits after padding appropriately. The hash of m with respect to the hash key or the initialization vector iv is computed as follows. An initial state consisting of r zeros concatenated with the iv is defined. The first message block is exhorted to the first R bits of the state and the permutation is applied to it in order to compute the next state. This is done till all the message blocks are consumed and the first R bits of the final state is the hash output. Uh, one of the most basic properties that any hash function should satisfy is collision resistance. Uh, it requires that given a random IV, it is hard to find two different messages that hash to the same value. Uh, we are interested in quantifying collision resistance of the sponge construction. And the usual approach is to model the model pi as a random permutation. Uh, one can show that when pi is a random permutation, there is an attack that finds collision using a minimum of two power c by two and two power r by two queries. And in fact, this attack is provably optimal. However, in the real world, since pi is typically public, uh, an adversary can do preprocessing on it and it might make its job of finding collisions easier. Uh, the scenario of pre-processing attacks were first studied in several different works, for example, in the context of function inversion, collision resistance, etc. Uh, Coretti et al. introduced the auxiliary input random permutation model to capture pre-processing adversaries in the context of random permutations. Uh, here is how the collision resistance game is defined in this model. The adversary A consists of two stages, A1 and A2. Uh, the first stage, A1, is unbounded and has complete access to the permutation pi. Uh, it computes s bits of preprocessing, which is input to the online phase along with the random IV. The online phase can make t queries to the permutation and it's inverse. The adversary wins if the online phase outputs a pair of distinct messages that hash to the same output. Uh, we refer to such an adversary A as an ST adversary, and we define the advantage parameter as by ST as the maximum probability of an ST adversary winning this game. Uh, Coretti et al. gave a tight characterization of this advantage. However, the attack that they propose, uh, uh, which achieves this advantage, finds collisions of length nearly t. Uh, for usual parameter values, uh, collisions this long are not very useful. In addition, short collisions seem harder to find than longer ones. Hence, we ask the question, can we characterize the hardness of finding B-block collisions for sponge? In a series of recent works, uh, this question has been studied uh, for Merkle Lambert. In this work, we give new attacks and prove limitations for finding B-block collisions for the sponge construction. Uh, here's a very brief summary of our results. We give new at any, a new attack for finding one block collision for the sponge construction that leverages the fact that the adversary can make inverse queries. Uh, we also give an attack for other values of B, which is inspired by rainbow tables. We prove limitations for best possible attacks for B equals one and two using different techniques. Uh, for both B equals one and two, our bounds are not tight, which gives rise to several open problems. The two main takeaways of our work are, uh, first, the inverse queries are useful in sponge uh, uh, to give new and better attacks. Uh, secondly, shorter collisions are probably harder to find than longer ones for the sponge construction, just like Markle demo. Uh, for more details, I invite you to, to our longer talk during crypto and refer you to the full version of our paper on ePrint. Thank you.